Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is your CNC HD and this is another Hall of Fame replay I cast for you. Another Tournament Desert match. And let's see who the players are. We have on the top position the Cyan Colored Stealth General of Duckle. And on the bottom position we have the Purple Colored Excal. Also a Stealth General. So we have a Stealth Mirror on Tournament Desert. Excal versus Duckle. Let's go for it. Both players are well known. Both players are very skilled in Zero Hour and they played a lot of matches in Zero Hour indeed. Now those two um, beasts are fighting each other here on Tournament Desert and let's see who will, who is going to win this match. There's no army luck because both are Stealth General. Let's see who is the better GLA player. I think Duckle is better with GLA than Excal, but let's find it out. Excal here starting with his main supply, going to his second supply, building a tunnel there also as well, it looks like. And going with a fast barracks in direction to the middle and placing down a tunnel here, not so aggressive at, as Duckle did here. Duckle here placing down a, an aggressive tunnel here in the middle. But no terror car crap at all. Here's the terrorist, but Excal has his first terror car and is moving here to the tunnel. Let's see if he is successfully denying this tunnel. And yep, he is. Oh no, he is not. And the tunnel is finishing. The terrorist force firing here, but not dealing so much damage. Now here, Excal moving in with his terror car in direction to the second supply of Duckle driving over some workers maybe I hope he's not exploding with the car this would be a waste or oh, not killing this worker on oh, just on the edge killing this worker here stopping this tunnel at 83 percent tunnel still alive in the middle and this puts Duckle into an advantage because he has now control over the middle you're also now a terrorist on the right side and a tunnel going up on the left side. The car is destroyed, exploded or whatever. Here's a technical stopped this car, I think. Ah, oh, worker here by Excal got killed by this tunnel here on the left side. So Excal not establishing a tunnel here, but he has established a tunnel here on the bottom left. Some terrorists blowing up this tunnel and also we have a little house fight here going on on the right middle side and which is Excal going to win. Now here this tunnel getting destroyed, Duckle moving in with a dashnickel and he has some more units in this dashnickel maybe. He's driving directly to the worker but m there's a big pop out stopping this dashnickel. Uh, he, but he killed two or three workers there. I think three or four by Excal. Only four workers here on the second supply of Duckle. There's one worker missing also here on the right side. So the economy is a little bit crippled. But only a little bit. Tunnel is destroyed. There's random stealthed rebel, but the barracks is also going to fall if this rebel is not doing anything. And we have an engagement here on the left side. Which is Duckle about to win? There was just too many quad cannons by Duckle and Excal. Ran into a tunnel, not destroying it completely. A worker is coming out of this tunnel and repairing it immediately. And the barracks is going to fall very quickly. There it goes. The rebel did not stop those RPGs, which is not good. I don't know why Excal didn't do it. Now he lost his barracks and now he has to rebuild it. There is a barracks going up here at the oil derrick and it looks like Excal is going to be the first player capturing the first oil derrick while Duckle has the complete map control here. Upgrade also has the middle and is driving with another technical here to the workers at the second supply of Excal and Excal losing three workers again. Now here a second, uh, no, no, a third supply is going up for Duckle in the middle. While we have another little house fight here going on. Barracks is established and Excal about to capture this oil derrick. 
little engagement here in the middle. Let's see if Duckle is going to put a stop to that, but no, it doesn't look like it. He is um, getting control over the second supply of Excal, and if this is successfully, which looks like it, then Excal is very crippled with his economy. Then Duckle can take over the second supply of Excal and leave Excal only on one supply. He didn't capture the oil direct yet, so Excal is with. Out. So uh, he doesn't have a lot of income then. He only has his main supply with only four workers working. The fifth worker is uh, building a tunnel right now. Oh, there's a force, fire here, force firing here. Now he sees the supply, but the supply is sold in time and Duckle gaining back uh, 750 cash or something like this. Now Excal is capturing the oil derrick. And it, and both of those players don't have a palace yet. They are not fast taking, which can be good in a GLA mirror. But it can also put you into an advantage if you have battle buses sooner as your enemy. Oh Tashikal getting stopped here not very carefully by Duckle. Duckle losing his full technical here to a lot of quads. Meanwhile, we have a little more aggression here over the left flank. Excal tunneling his way up towards the base of Duckle. But that Duckle now has two supplies in the middle. But he losing his uh, position on the right side. There are too many quads of Excal, and Excal just finishing off the complete army of Duckle. Now it comes to a good micro if he kills the RPGs also because the RPGs are doing a lot of damage, and he drives directly into this bunker and to the tunnel and losing all his quads. And this is actually not good, but Duckle is reduced to a minimum with his army. But compared to his enemy, he has an army. Excal doesn't have anything left and he has to rebuild his complete army while Duckle is sitting on so much income. And he's also now crapping his fifth supply here. And also capturing the oil derrick. A little aggression over the left, but I think this is going to be a waste. There are two tunnels and there's also a pop out, two quad cans popping out, but not microing them at all, not saving them here into the tunnel. Uh, Excal only losing one, uh, now two quad cans. Uh, but it looks like he's successfully here on the left flank, destroying also the testicle. Tunnel is going to fall and the supply here is also getting destroyed any second. A little house fight going on here, but there are workers repairing this building, not. Worker here finishing the stealth tunnel and this can put Duckle into a good po um, no Excal into a good position here at Duckle's fifth supply. Duckle knows nothing about this and now the tunnel is up and also two quad cans popping out and the supply is going to fall very quickly. But Duckle is selling his supply in time, gaining back his money and this was good. Also here the second supply of Duckle was picked off here. So Duckle lost two supplies, but he is still in an advantage here. He is still the upper side in this match. Now a huge engagement here over the left. Some RPGs and four quad cans picking off this tunnel and now Excal has free range to build a third supply here. He is building up his second supply again. Duckle surpri surprisingly has no tunnel here on this side, so if there's an engagement happening over the left, then this is here completely unguarded, only two garrison buildings by Duckle. And now Excal grouping him here on the top and moving in while Duckle is building his first palace. Oh, quads moving back, but. I think this is a wise decision because I think Duckle has more units than Excal. Oh, he's popping out more units, so maybe he is going to uh, attack his enemy. Now the third supply for Excal is going up. While we have a big aggression here over the right, ah, demo trap was not manually tra um, 
exploded. Was automatic exploded yet. Um, now remember if this devil trap would have uh, blown up manually and this would have to deal more damage but Excal here in a good position holding off this attack but like I said this demo trap would have dealt more damage oh now here look at this big aggression of Duckle here a lot of tunnels going up in front of the base of Excal and there's also a big engagement here now stopping this demo trap but there's another demo trap is he driving into it no now he is going to drive into it maybe we have also a worker on the top maybe establishing a tunnel and Duckle is about to drive into this demo trap if he moves forward and there it goes to the uh, quad cans falls to this demo trap and he's driving directly between two tunnels which is always not a good thing um, especially if Excal is popping out some units and now Duckle lost his complete army here on the bottom this happens if you drive between two tunnels now here Excal tried to establish his tunnel on the top but was spotted by Duckle not surprisingly because this tunnel was obviously in a too aggressive position Duckle has his um, palace up and he has also two arm stealers I think he could afford three or four arm stealers with his amount of income also Duckle is going to destroy this oil direct by Excal and this cripples Excal more and more with his economy and there it goes Duckle has such an advantage in this game yes the complete middle he has his oil direct oh, there, did you see the supply here very aggressively but Excal put a stop to that and we have now here the first battle bus also this tunnel by Excal finished here on top so Excal not in the uh, baddest situation here ah oh, battle bus driving directly into those RPGs and what a waste of an of an battle bus that was a huge waste here and those squad cans also going to be wasted and no he's driving back I think Duckle should stop this here because here's only one tunnel compared to this spot there are two tunnels and I think um, Duckle knows nothing about this base here on the left there are two workers sitting in front of his base now he should spot it now he should um, realize that there is something going on on his left oh, driving directly into this demo trap Losing most of his army, also this battle bus was stopped. Oh, this was a brilliant demo trap here by Excal. And now Duckle has to cut his losses and retreat. Oh, here all those aggressive tunnels in front of Duckle's base. And there is a pop out denying this command center, maybe. Duckle losing his tunnel, but there are two quad cans destroying one of. Excal squads, but this is just too much for Duckle. If Duckle doesn't pull out some units here out of the tunnel, then he is going to lose his base on the top. There are just too many quads and RPGs, and I think Excal is going to reinforce it, reinforce it with those three quad cannons any second. Palace is not occupied, but now stealthed, and Excal um, Duckle, Duckle losing his main supply. But is still on his tube supplies in the middle. Now the tide of this battle is turning surprisingly for in favor for Excal. Uh, Excal here finishing off the complete base of Duckle. Duckle losing all his two arm stealers. Not able to sell them. But here now Duckle on the move. On his move to destroy the second supply of Excal again. Didn't had success here with the main supply of Excal, but this battle is turning uh, really slow in favor to Excal. This is surprisingly for me because Excal has had such a low income during the whole match. 
Duckel had so much more income and now this is happening to Duckel. So now we have to ask ourselves what went wrong. Maybe it was the missing pedals on Excal's side. That Excal had more money, I'm not sure about it. But that Duckel is such a head with the tag tree. He has this palace, no, not actually yet, but he, but he had his palace. No, Excal is building up his palace, but what went wrong for Duckle? He also has the complete middle. Really strange, but now Duckle is going to lose his oil direct here. Excal in a very good position, the master of comebacks here, pulling out another comeback here. And is about to um, destroy the middle here. There's no tunnel on this side whatsoever. There's only this one garrison building. And Duckle really should do something about this. Which he's not doing at all. But luckily for him this army of Exgal is not engaging here. <coughs> he could easily destroy everything what's left. Now he's also taken this main supply and look at the map and compare it with the map of 7 minutes which looked like at 7 minutes Excal was so behind and now look what's happened at the minimap but Duckle here still with his battle buses picking off uh, the quad cannons one by one and scrapping up his battle bus also which is good a command center very aggressively going up at the X base of Duckle. Also, his palace went up there. And Duckle is doing the same at the main base of Excal. He's putting up, up a command center very aggressively here in front of the main base of Excal. The tunnel seems to be full. Mm, not. And let's see where is the next aggression happening. Both players are now building up their forces to strike with a final blow. But I think Excal should strike here in front of his um, ba main base to stop everything what's going on here by Duckle. And there's the aggression but driving directly into the demo trap stopping another battle bus and driving directly into the next demo trap. Ah, this was very close here. He didn't drive into it, but this was very close. But he lost the battle bus here. Ah, oh, and also killing those workers by driving over them. Not a good thing which can happen to a worker. Ah, oh, Jamkel ran into those two stealth tunnels. And now it looks a little bit even here. Both players um, are in a good shape right now. And now Duckle switching over to Angry Mobs. And maybe Angry Mobs will give him a good um, point uh, situation here in this game. There's also now a battle bus by Excal, which got sniped here by the Jam Kel of Duckle. And though there was the first GPS scrapper here on the units of Duckle, but he is. Moving in directly to the demo trap. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure why Excal didn't blow it up here man manually. This could have destroyed two or three quad cannons, but instead uh, they got away. Supply in. Letting the supply survive? I don't know why he did this, but okay. Okay, here. Yeah. Angry mob in the middle, moving around. And Rebel tries to destroy, destroy this main supply of Excal. Now there's also a battle bus getting stopped by Jamkel. Oh, but here, nice action of the opponent. Jamkel sniping his colleague. But now losing his battle bus completely, but Jamkel survives. And there's another battle bus, but it looks like it is not filled up with RPGs. Now it is. And just look at this large amount of quad cans of Excal. While Duckle seems to be the only player here which uh, is playing with battle buses. There was one battle bus by Excal, but Duckle has a greater amount of battle buses. Main supply going up again for Excal. 
while those angry mobs are now moving in on the top position. And is Duckle successfully here? He has the AK-47 upgrade. And let's see um, how much damage he is going to pull out. He still has the middle. But both players has their main supplies, but there... Uh, no, there was no... not the base trade. A little bit of base trade. Excal put over the control here on the top, but this angry mob was um, reduced to a minimum here right now because of this toxin tractor. Quad cannons now finishing off the rest. What is left? What is left here um, by those angry mobs? A battle bus moving in here, picking off two quad cannons, but Jam Cal sniping it, and oh, Jam Cal, no. We don't have a colleague fight here. No. no. Those two drum cats are not sniping each other. And now this battle bus can get away. Let's look, take a look at the money. Duckle on a very low cash amount on his bank account. And Excal is sitting on 2000. And just looking, be just looking better. He has two main supplies. Thank you for the new shoes. And this fallen. top main supply is also getting exhausted. And he has a full tunnel. And now let's see if this jump can pull out some good damage here. And no, Duckle is retreating. No fight at all here. Jump Cal is waiting for the battle bus to snipe it and hopefully snipe the opponent's jump Cal as well. Both players are building up their forces again and one black bucket is going up after another. Let's see how many black markets each player has. Excal with two black markets and Duckle with three. And there's the fight here. Jam Cal got killed by the tunnel and the other Jam Cal survived. Battle bus was sniped here and now Excal can. Uh, take advantage over this battle bus, but no, Duckle is pulling a stop, putting a stop to that. But on a try, he's losing one quad cannon, and battle bus is still alive, and now he tries it again. Mm, or not. Mm, there's the number black market. Uh, okay, this was this one before. I think both players cannot do anything because they have to build up a lot of black markets in the time they it seems like they made agreement not not to attack each other uh, no I'm wrong there's the attack of Excal now and he is moving in directly to this command center tunnel is going to fall and there are just two quad cans left by Duckle uh, now there are zero quad cans for Duckle but there's a battle bus with only two RPGs in it. And now Excal has a free um, opportunity to go over here to the right and destroy this command center. He is also not going to um, take advantage over this battle bus, instead, he is going to destroy it. I do not agree with this because this was a high script uh, up one. He's also sitting with some idle workers here while his opponent is building up a tunnel in front of his workers. There was another GPS scrambler, maybe on a battle bus. A bunker um, destroying this uh, black market here, but not completely. Now he is going to destroy it completely. So, Duckle only on two black markets right now. There it goes. There's this one lonely battle bus. No quad cannons whatsoever. There's one snipe one not taken over by Duckle yet. I mean he could uh, pull a worker here to the point. But instead he's not doing it. And there's Jam Kel again and a battle bus crashing here over the left. There's also the Jam Kel of Excal sitting. And let's see if this jump can... Ah! Oh, and is he getting... Ah! And there... There he was sniped by the jump cat of Duckle. Barracks 
is destroyed here. Battle bus moving in and not completely destroying it. Another GPS crampler here on the top position here, I think, on the units of Exile. Exile has so much more units than his opponent. And I think Exile is going to win this match if he's doing everything correctly, what he's doing right now. Two more black markers here on the right side, so Duckle is moving to the right to establish his base, but this is his only opportunity. On the right side now, two battle buses ready to pick off this tunnel, but the palace is occupied, so those battle buses need to be very careful. There are five RPGs in it, which can do a lot of damage to those battle buses. Battle buses are retreating into the tunnel. While a bunker is destroying a uh, not occupied building here in the middle. Another black market going up here for Exgal. While Duckel is garrisoning some more buildings here. And two more black market um, battle buses here on the bottom. Destroying the main uh, supply of Exgal. Or maybe not, but he is about to do it. But there are such a lot of tunnels here by Excal. And so Duckle has to be very careful what he's doing. We have to bring into our mind that Excal has so much more units than Duckle. So Duckle needs to be very careful here. He needs to do hit and run tactics. And this is the case. What's happening right now here is also Jump Cal in this one battle bus. So Excal needs to be very careful here what battle bus he is sniping and if he is sniping it. <coughs> There's a jump cal and three rocket buggers now. But it looks like the battle buses are doing a good damage here. Two quad cannons getting picked off. Jump cal wasn't able to snipe any of those battle buses. I think he cannot snipe one. He should snipe the top one, but there is the GPS crampler, and so he cannot snipe anything here right now. And Duckle has such a good micro here with his two battle buses. While this bunker is destroying one more black bucket and killing a worker there. The number tunnel is picked off by those two battle bus uh, battle buses. I'm not sure why Exal isn't engaging here. I mean there should be a free spot to engage, maybe here on this side or I'm not sure. Excal should do something right now. Uh, one battle bus falls and one another got sniped here. Uh, why Why is he not taken? Uh, okay. So it didn't get taken because it was getting destroyed here. Okay. What can getting sniped here? And Duckle getting back into those battle buses. Two more on the way. Not GPS scrambled quad can getting picked off here, but there's this palace which is shooting right now, doing some good damage here on this battle bus. Free rocket bug is now chasing off those two battle buses. Okay. Now oh, both players need to rely on their black markers. There's only a few amount of resources left for Excal. Ah, uh, one battle bus getting picked off here by those rocket buggies, which are doing a good job at chasing away those battle buses. Duckle seems like it can he cannot do anything against those free battle um those rocket buggies. Now I think the main supply is going to get destroyed, but it's too late because this is already exhausted and Exhal doesn't need this supply anymore. Another battle bus getting picked off, but also rocket buggy falls. Also, jump Kel here got picked off. But Excal doing such a better job here at killing the units of his opponent. And there's another battle bus. Another black market going up for Excal. There's not a lot of happening here right now in this match. Oh, here now an Anthrax bomb. The first one by Duckle. Let's see 
if he's doing a good job. There's a sneak attack. And the x guard pull out his units to destroy the sneak attack. Oh, what a brilliant move that was. I just need to pause it. That, that, that was just a brilliant move. He, um, he had his anthrax bomb. And he let it flew, uh, fly here to the spot. And right at this point, he set up a sneak attack here, knowing for sure that his opponent Excal is going to pull out everything what's left in the tunnel to destroy the sneak attack. And what happened here is he pulled out his units, and while he did this, the Anthrax bomb hit the ground and destroyed two or three um, rocket buggies. Just a brilliant move here by Duckle. This was just brilliant here. But Excal still has two rocket buggies left. And another black market here. In front of the bunker, I'm not sure if this is the best decision here. And this is now what's happening. The, buggy, uh, the, the bunker is shooting on the black market, but the black market was cancelled. Battle bus needs to get back into the tunnel again. And the workers doing long range mining here on this uh, one on this uh, supply here, what is left there. Battle bus now here on the top. And this is the only battle bus which is left for Duckle. Hmm, two more black markets going up for Duckle. Man, there needs to happening something right now. This is slowly getting boring, but bas boring. But this is what GLA Mirror is about. A lot of black market spam and a lot of game time. We are already 30 minutes in this match, and I'm not sure who is going to win this match. I think Exgal is pulling out the win, but Duckle can surprisingly pull out, uh, turn the tide of this battle. Maybe. <clears throat> there are still four tunnels left here on the bottom. And more tunnels going up here on the top. So both players are really tunneling up like hell. And there's this one battle bus driving directly into those four tunnels, but not driving back. Don't know what this was about. Now here two battle buses and an angry mob engaging here. This tunnel is going to fall for sure here. And there are two rocket buggies picking off this one battle bus. Jam Kel getting sniped by another Jam Kel. This tunnel falls and also the second tunnel falls. But I think this battle bus is going to get picked off here very soon. Oh, here angry mobs engaging here. Picking off this one tunnel here, and now Duckle is inside the base. There's also now a sneak attack by Duckle, pulling the uh, attract the attention of the squad cannon to the sneak attack, which worked very good. Now those two rocket buggies finishing off the sneak attack, but the battle bus here is still doing damage. Now fully recovered by the sneak attack. Tunnel is going to fall. And now those three rock buggies chasing away this battle bus, and I think they are going to destroy it. And yep, there it goes. But this angry mob is on the move to destroy the command center of Excal, and they are doing such a lot of damage here with the uh, with their AK-47 upgrade. Two jump kills. Ah, this jump kill should snipe the opponent's jump kill, but he's not doing it. Now his opponent's jump kill is in this battle bus. Uh, battle bus now moving in and sniping his jump kill. Very good move here by Duckle. And now the angry mob is engaging on another black market, which is camouflaged. So this is all what Duckle sees. He doesn't know about this black market. And let's take a look at the vision of Excal. He is on 2,500 cash. And losing another black market while the battle bus is still alive. And now those no those three rocket buggies shouldn't engage on this battle bus. Uh, oh, this can be very close. And now they are picking off this battle bus. Uh, not losing two rocket buggies. Uh, this was not a good engagement here of 
Excal at all. The old angry mobs running directly into those two tunnels. Losing every mob here. But I did a good damage. Rocket, uh, the black market is destroyed and getting picked off by this one RPG who is shooting like crazy. If he is on coffee or something like this. On coffee or whatever. Or Red Bull. Maybe he drank Red Bull. I'm not sure. Okay. Rocket Buggy picking off this one Rocket Man. Not. And now this Rocket Man finishing off this tunnel. Ah, what a fail. Command Center is going up again for Excal. While Duckle is building one black market after another here on the right side. Another sneak attack here happening on the left by Duckle. Um, just in the heart of Excal's uh, remaining base. There's only one black market remaining. The rest of his buildings are here on the top. And that's it for Excal. Uh, I do not agree with this. This is just in front of the sneak attack and there needs to be only one pop out and there's a pop out. But the rocket buggy was back in the tunnel just in time. And I think if this battle bus is not careful enough, then he is going to lose it. And no, but finished off this tunnel, and now finishing off again here with this battle bus, picking off it off completely. Very nicely done here. Or oh, anthrax bomb here on the main remaining base of Excal, also denying this armsealer building here. But this battle bus is now getting picked off by this rocket buggy, but this rocket buggy is not careful enough losing it to this battle bus and this was crucial for Excal. Now he has zero, just zero units. He has only those remaining RPGs in those bunkers, but that's it. Now this lonely battle bus is finishing off all what's remaining for Excal. And also he cannot build anything else because this armsealer is stopped. He threw an anthrax bomb here on his opponent's base, killing one rocket buggy. But this one battle bus is still remaining and this one battle bus is finishing off the rest of Excal. Now those three, three units are going to stop this arm stealer. And now this command center is about to fall. Which let Excal be on uh, four buildings remaining. This command center falls. And with four buildings and no workers at all, you cannot win a match. You just can't. There's another sneak attack here now by Excal. Before his command center getting picked off, he um, secures a worker, which is good for him. Because now he has a worker to build something. But this is clearly over for Excal. He, he is the master of comebacks, but he cannot have a comeback out of this situation. Especially but not with this amount of uh, money. This is a lot, okay, but it's not enough to establish a complete base again. Now Duckle has complete map control. He is picking off the rest what's remaining here. He knows now about all those four tunnels and I think he's going to do something against this um, any second to clear out everything what's left here on the bottom. And there it is, the battle bus. Which leaves Excal only on this top position here. Caged between all those tunnels of Duckle. Two tunnels already finished off. And there's no support by Excal at all because he has no units in this tunnel. There's nothing. And now he's losing his third tunnel and then his last tunnel here on the bottom. Another angry mob here engaging now from Duckle. And there's also now a scud storm of Duckle, which is very good for him. But this bunker, I think it can shoot on the scud storm. If. Ah, and there it is. There's um, the shot on the scud storm. Let's see if Duckle is cancelling the scud storm or he's doing something against this bunker. Let's see about it. 
and he's doing something about this uh, bunker, finishing off with five rocket buggies while Excal is building up his command center again with his last cache. He has still 4,000 remaining, but Duckle has such an incredible uh, money income. Now this gust storm is finished, and I think Excal can give up. Yes, one jump kill now for Excal. Okay, here now the five rocket buggies engaging. Still don't know about this black market. And now they are uh, targeting the command center. The command center is going to fall. There is no cancel. Is he canceling it? No cancel at all by Excal, but maybe because he wants to drop an Antrax bomb here on those rocket buggies. No. And there's GG. Excal surrendered. Also, Duckle leaves the game. And this was a clearly victory for Duckle. Having a very good start, but then getting uh, reduced to a minimum by Excal. But after this reducing, he had an incredible um, comeback again and finishing off Excal with his last remaining units. Excal um, had not such a good start, but then pulled out a good uh, comeback against Duckle, but then Duckle had his comeback against Excal. But after all, very good played here on both sides. Definitely a Hall of Fame replay. And if you want to see this match, you can go um, or download this replay. You can go to gamereplays.org, replay section, zero hour, hall of fame replays. Link is in the description, of course, uh, in the description below, of course, I mean. And if you want to see more videos of me, you can go to my website, cnchd.weebly.com. There are all of my videos well sorted and neatly arranged in categories. And I think, thank you for watching. This is your CNCHD and peace out.